Hello, welcome to A Plus Tutor or RBA Plus Rage Reading and Tutorial Services. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, kids, mommies, and daddies. So, to those who have not subscribed yet to the channel, please pop a subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and you can leave a comment below anything and I'll get back to you. So, I'll just continue later. I'll see you guys for our topic today. See ya. Hello, we're back po. This is Teacher Rachel again and welcome to the channel. Okay, so yes, uh, now I'm done with the work. Okay, I'm done with my uh, whole day work today is Monday so I just had classes this morning until the afternoon I, I finish at 5 that's my everyday routine of course aside from being a mommy okay, a mommy to my children na nag online class then and also yung nagmo-module alright so my twins yung isang twin nagmo-module yung isa nag online yung aking grade 9 nag online class then right. so mommy in between a mom in between alright po today ang ating topic is about uh, the average reading speed or about uh, the speed of uh, uh, how, how, how fast your child actually can read. And ano ba? what's the importance of reading um, fast or fast reading sa isang bata or sa isang bata na nag-aaral ng reading? Bakit importante ito? Importante ba na mabilis magbasa ang bata? Okay, so yun yung mga katanungan. Number one, yes. Hindi naman actually mabilis na mabilis, but uh, you know, it affects, okay? Naaapektuhan po yung speed ng reading ng bata at yung kanyang pagkaintindi or ang kanyang comprehension. So, the way the child would read the statement or the sentence would affect kung maintindihan niya yung isang binasa niya, okay? So, may iba't ibang level of uh, like um, speed, Okay, or how fast your child can read. So I'll be putting those uh, statistics here. Kung ilang, kung gano kabilis ang mga bata magread, katulad ng sa isang uh, sa isang grade one. Okay, let's say six years old. All right. So, but since I'm teaching reading from around the mga age na four or hanggang five, so most probably nandudun din po yung range ng speed niya. So, if a grade one student around six years old to seven years old should read or what should be able to read around 53 to 111 words per minute, that's normal na po. Okay. Again, that's for grade 1, that's the age for 6 to 7 years old, the average reading speed should be 53 to 111 words per minute. Okay? So for a second grader, like uh, 7 years old to 8 years old, okay, so second grade, grade 2 na yan, okay? So that's around 89 words per minute to 149 words per minute. All right? So I'll be... Putting those uh, data data below, okay. So maybe you can check it after the vlog, or I'll be sending you the the link. All right. So I'd like to give credit, kasi alam niyo po, I read a lot about these things when it comes to uh, how to teach reading and what is the average reading speed of students. So bilang guro, at least alam natin yan, or alam namin kung gaano dapat kabilis ang bata magbasa. So, meron akong isang website na binasa, okay, isang article, or marami naman akong nabasa na, but ang ginagawa ko is, uh, in, inaano ko sila sa isang ano lang, okay, parang sinasummarize ko na po sila, alright, para sa mga mami sa madaling maintindihan. So, at least meron na silang idea how fast, should their children be able to read or how many words must their children be able to read at the age of ganito or at the age of ganire okay po so let's say around grade 3 na yung mga bata so that's around 8 to 9 years old they must be able to read 107 words per minute up to 162 words per minute Okay? And so on and so forth. So, let's say, ang bata po ay mga nasa 5 years old or 4 years old. So, most, ang, ang range niyan is around nasa 100. Okay? At least 100 nakakabasa sila words per minute. Or maybe 50, 80 
80 words per minute, kaya nila, or even 50 words per minute. Pero yung pinaka-baseline kasi natin is grade 1 or 6 years old. Okay? So, but then, as early as 4, as 5, nagtuturo na tayo sa bata ng reading, which is very good. The thing is, sa mga edad na yan, minsan mabilis sila magbasa, but they cannot comprehend. It's two different things, mga mommies and daddies. So, if the child can read, but they cannot comprehend. It's different. So, yung speed, read, ng speed ng reading, it is very important. Okay? It is very important. Alright? So, I'll speak more of that after this. Okay, after okay. this. So, so, to continue, alright? So, the link that I'm going to write down, I'd like to give credit to that, to the website. It's scholarwithin.com. Com, okay, that's one of the website that I was reading, or I have uh, I have taken the context out there, the the context from there, and then I discuss it with you. So yung iba sa iba naman, pero mostly kinuha ko na to because this this website na that that I got this uh, mga um, uh, what it calls data it's the same with the other websites or books na nabasa ko rin, okay? So, I'm giving credit to the website scholarwithin.com. Alright, so to continue again, yung speed reading, yes, it affects because yung the way na magbasa yung bata, okay, maaring iba ang pagkaintindi niya pag iba yung dating ng pagbasa niya. Pag sobrang bagal, maaring hindi niya na maintindihan yung binasa niya. So, yung sasatanong niya sa'yo, Mami, bakit Hindi, anong ibig sabihin ito? Ano daw ito? Pero, nabasa niya yung, bin, yung kanyang mga words doon sa isang sentence na yon, No? Okay, remember, may mga principles or mga different principles that we have to consider in reading. Okay? Again, this is a review. Alright, mga mommies and daddies, ate, kuya, lolo, and lola. Alright, remember, the five principles or something that you have to remember in reading. Number one is phonemic awareness. Phonemic is the, phoneme, remember, is the uh, the smallest unit of speech, uh, uh, smallest, smallest unit of sound in speech. The tunog, mga tunog ng mga letters natin, mga letters, no? Next is phonetics. How sounds are produced. Your mouth, your lips, your teeth, okay, your tongue, your pharynx, and your larynx, alright? Next is fluency. Gano kabilis, gano kagaling, gano niya na po pronounce yung words. Next, vocabulary. That's number four. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng word na ito? Alam niya ba ang ibig sabihin ng happiness? Alam niya ba ang ibig sabihin ng handsome? Oh, you might be asking. Yes, there are some students na even grade 5 na grade 6 doesn't even know the word handsome. Okay? Question mark. You say, oh, bakit kaya? Okay, so later on we will know maybe on the next vlog malalaman natin bakit hindi. But these are the five principles. Okay? And the last one is comprehension. But it doesn't mean that the last one is comprehension. Ito na yung pinakalist na dapat malaman. No. It's a reading. Itong lima na to, the principle must be in uh, integrated there. Okay? It should be integrated in reading. Nandun siya lahat sa pagbabasa. So, the, ba the bata should know or must be able to uh, know the sound, how the sound is produced, must be able to read well, okay, the pronunciation, uh, vocabulary, the meaning of the word, and then naintindihan niya, comprehension. Okay po? Alright, so uh, again, the links I will leave down below. Don't forget that. Alright, so after natin mabasa yung, na, napagbasa yung bata, okay, let's say napabasa natin, paano ba natin mapu-improve yung mga uh, pagbabasa nila? Paano pa natin mapapa-improve? Okay, number one there, Huwag natin silang pahirapan, okay? We can read with them. Magbasa tayo together, okay? You read the words, uh, a story together, okay? So, it could be, one, reading aloud, okay? You read aloud. Number two is, you read uh, chorus reading, okay? Like, for example, sing, sabay, alright? Sabay kayo ng mga bata magbasa. Okay, so you read... Uh, poems and short stories, okay? Or maybe you take turns in reading, okay? You take turns. So that's number three. And then next is, num uh, you get something that is like mga drills, okay? Re remember your basic sight words, right? Okay. So next is, test natin kung gano kabilis si bata magbasa by giving them an example or a sample um, 
drill, alright? So, maybe I'll be putting down the links again below kung paano natin ma i uh, ma -i test alright? There is the website there. Remember that I mentioned before, uh, a while ago, the Scholar Within. Meron silang drill doon kung paano nyo ma -i test or gano'n nyo kabilis Mati, ma, gaano kabilis magbasa na yung anak ninyo at kung naiintindihan niya alright so how do you test comprehension okay after ng bata magbasa ng isang story we have to ask questions okay so the elements of the story dapat alam mo the characters the location the settings ganyan and of course what have you learned from the story right so those simple things not just yes or no you have to make your, you have to remember hindi lang hindi natin matetest ang comprehension by answering by answering or by letting the child answer yes or no all right so there always be a reason bakit Okay, why? So, who are the characters in the story? Or why did he do that? And who was with him or with her? And then after that, can you retell the story? What do you think will he do next? Okay, so those are the things that we have to consider. So, that's for today. <laughs> Salamat. Sana may, na may natutunan kayo. Yung, uh, I'd like to tell you again, yung link po to test your child how, how fast they can read na and if they are, they are in the, in the baseline of the, uh, of the reading speed, of the normal reading speed, nandun din. I will leave it there. So again, credit to scholarwithin.com. Thank you. Okay. And I'll see you again next time. I'll be discussing a different thing because I have to cook na. Si mami magkukuk na naman para sa mga anak ko. <laughs> Thank you, Paulette. Please subscribe to the channel if you have something to say, if you have to some if you have something to comment about, maybe a topic to discuss, a motivational thing. I can do that maybe a lot. Pwede ba ako maging life coach? I don't know. But I will try my best. <laughs> Based on my experience, disclaimer again, all of these things, all of the things that I can share when it comes to like ideas and opinions, yan ay mga personal experiences ko lang. Okay? It could be anything under the sun. So I told you, I will answer. So don't forget to subscribe, people! Mommies and daddies, ate and kuya, please subscribe to my channel or to A Plus Tutor channel. Uh, click the notif uh, bell there and then hit like and then leave a comment. I'll see you again next time. Thank you very much. God bless. This is Teacher Rachel signing off. See ya. And before I forget, <laughs> I was supposed to say goodbye. I'd like to make a shout out to all the people who subscribe. Thank you po. Salamat ng marami. I'm a hundred subscribers stronger now. 105 Please uh, continue to support. So, shout out po sa nakasulat siya doon. <laughs> Kay Ma'am Viela, yung isa pong teacher ko na nagtuturo sa aking uh, uh, school, uh, center. So, si Ma'am Viela who's helping me promote the promote the YouTube channel. Please, thank you very much, Ma'am Viela Gadian. Okay, and then to my friend in Indonesia, Say I um, would like to say hello. Yeah, I know you're watching. Yanti Umien. All right. And to my f former students in Japan, Chapi Sensei, uh, Ohio, and Arigato, Ohio Gosaimas. And then I have Ati Ao. Si Ati Ao na palagi nagko comment. Thank you very much sa aking FB. Si Ate Ao ng, ng Zumba ng Phase 1, Palmera, San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. Ate Ao, thank you very much. And all many others na hindi ko na po ma, ma, masabanggit ngayon. But I will try to make a shout out at sa lahat ng mga businesses. And please check my uh, pages also. Please help us. We're gonna put up a library someday. So I want maraming students na mag-benefit from that. After the pandemic is over, and you know, babalit na rin yung mga estudyante and they'll be coming and asking me, teacher, basa tayo. <laughs> okay. So some really, some people cannot afford to send their children to tutorial lessons or classes. Makakatulong po kung magkakaroon ako ng maraming uh, followers po. Okay. So makakatulong tayo sa kanila. Salamat po ng marami. Thank you very much. Obrigado, obrigado. Arigato. Gozaimasu. Sheshe, and then Mercy, 
what else? Thank you and thank you and thank you. Say hello to my children, Blanca, Blake, Rain, Andre, and Tony, and to all my brothers, the Barrow brothers, and Kuya Ko, Kuya Ronald from PMMA, and of course, I'd like to say to my brother Obet, okay, and then my brother Ruel Barrow, okay, and then my youngest brother Romel, all right, so and. To my mom and dad up there in heaven. Hello, mom. Hello, dad. Hello, papa. I missed you. And I'll see you. Bye-bye. Thank you.